everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to make an Easter lily. They are my favorite flower and I have a lot of them in my garden right now. So I hope you will enjoy that. And then next week we are going to look at the house here behind me so you can see a lot of the details in there. Anyway, Easter lilies right now. Let's get to it. So I start with some yellow clay and then I am going to mix a piece of my yellow with a equal sized piece of some uh, opaque white clay here. Just mix it really really good and then you have a light yellow and a darker yellow. I rolled out both of my colors here in a nice thin cane. You can see the thickness here in the video. And from the light yellow I am cutting out six pieces for the petals around this little tube thing in the Easter Lily. I took a tiny tiny piece of the light yellow and I am actually putting that here on my glass surface for uh, something to grab the leaf while uh, placing them. So first I am taking one leaf and putting them into this mold I made for leaves and I have a video on that somewhere here and I will find the link for it to uh, make it easy for you. It will be in the info box below. So I'm doing this with all six uh, petals. It's not leaves but the mold is actually from leaves. Uh, and I'm placing first of all three of them very nicely um, placed so they are kind of equal placed. The next three petals here are going to be put in between the first three, so it's kind of making a full uh, circle of these petals. Then for the middle tube thing in the Easter Lily I am going to take a tiny bit of the darker yellow or the uh, natural yellow color and I'm kind of rolling a um, teardrop shape where I have the drop on top and then I'm just making a tiny hole into that and kind of making uh, small scratches outwards from the inside and out to make it really nice and thin in the sides. Cutting off the excess at the end using a tiny bit of bacon bond to make sure that everything will stick together. So I'm just placing that here in the middle of the flower and then placing the tube. So that is actually the flower head. Now you can go ahead and make as many of these as you want to. And then I am going to bake it on a tiny bit of a uh, ceramic uh, vat. I think that's the name for it. Ceramic vat. You can use a paper towel. When my flower heads are cooled down, I am taking a very, very tiny drill in my Dremel. And I'm just drilling a tiny hole on the back side of each flower. I have some green um, metal wire, actually I think it's kind of a flower wire. And I'm taking a tiny bit of my super glue gel and placing this wire into the hole that we just drilled. And then I can cut off the flower in the length that I need. I 
I made all my flowers and then I rolled a tiny piece of a light grey um, clay out and I'm just cutting out a tiny tiny piece of the clay shaping my flower and then I am kind of molding this little grey piece on top here on the back side of the flower and it's kind of hard to get up so I'm just placing that here on the flower so the pointy side is going up and then with two fingers I'm kind of shaping it around my wire um, I do this on all my flowers you can leave this out if you want to but I think that make them more um, lifelike I took some green clay and I rolled that and pushed that kind of flat so it's like a, an oblong slice that I am doing here and this is for the uh, leaves for the, these Easter lilies so I'm making a point in one end and I'm kind of uh, shaping it down the middle so it's kind of folding a tiny bit together then I'm taking my wire and the uh, bottom edge of the sleeve if you can say that I am putting that around the uh, wire and that is all for the leaves and now I'm just gonna make as many as I need everything is now nice and baked so I have a lot of flowers here I'm going to take some white Vallejo paint and I'm taking a little yellow and mixing in a little white and I'm also taking this sand color and mixing in a dot of white I'm going to take a tiny 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 bit of the yellowish here on my brush and then I am brushing that onto the petals of the flower uh, on the back side and on the front side not the tube just all uh, the petals here um, and I'm really really kind of dry brushing it on there's nothing much but it really makes a difference on the flower and I'm gonna do that on all my flowers With the light brown colored uh, paint here I'm just again taking tiny tiny bit of that and I'm popping that onto the gray part on the back side of each of my flowers. Again just a tiny tiny bit of it to make them look a little more real. I'm using an olive green here to give the leaves a tiny bit of shading and coloring so again I'm kind of dry brushing that onto each of my leaves so taking just a tiny tiny bit of the paint and uh, spreading that over the leaf kind of carefully and making sure I get everywhere so that it looks uniform and nice and I'm gonna do that on all of the leaves when my paint is all dry I am going to use a tiny bit of my super glue gel and then uh, gluing the leaf onto the flowers uh, or the stem of the flower and now you can arrange them into a small vase like this one uh, this is made from resin in a mold that I got from AliExpress so you can just arrange them now and there you have your done Easter lily I hope you had a great Easter I know this is a bit late hey I hope you liked the video if you did give it a like because it means a lot to me and it also makes my video more visible to everyone else and uh, while you're there please do go subscribe and maybe ring the bell button because then you will get a notification when I'm uploading a new video.
otherwise I am uploading every Wednesday so you should be able to find my videos by just going on my channel. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, thank you for watching and happy crafting. Okay, bye!